Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So now we will solve problems on flexural members. The beam section shown is subjected to positive bending. Fy is equal to 248 megapascal. Which of the following most nearly gives the yielding moment capacity of the section? The formula for the yield moment capacity is given. So that is Fy times Fx. So by the way, Sx, that is the elastic section modulus. So usually for still usually for still members that are available in database, the elastic section modulus is given. But for this particular problem, as you can see, we have here a different section. So we cannot find this section in the database. Therefore, we have to solve first for the elastic section modulus. So in solving the elastic section modulus, that is simply S sub X equals I over T, where C is the farthest distance from the neutral axis to the extreme fiber. In the formula of the elastic section modulus, there is I, that is the moment of inertia. And by the way, for this particular problem, the default axis of bending is the major axis, which is x-axis. So this moment of inertia is with respect to x-axis. So let us go first for the moment of inertia. So as you can see, our section is asymmetrical with respect to x-axis, so meaning we have to locate first the centroid. But for the y-axis, our section is symmetric with respect to y-axis, so meaning the portion of the section to the left of the y-axis is similar to the portion of the section to the right of the y-axis. Okay? So let's say this is the centroid, and then we assume that it is at a distance of y sub b from the bottom. So in order to locate the centroid, let's say we sum moment about a certain reference line, and usually it is easier to assume that the bottom of the section is our reference line. So we make this our reference line. Meaning, we will sum moment of each portion of the section with respect to that reference line. Okay, so first, the rectangular portion on the upper part, which is 200 by 50. So we sum the moment of this area with respect up to the bottom. So that is 200 times 50. The distance from the centroid of this rectangle up to the bottom is 50 over 2. So that is from here up to the bottom of this flange, that is 50 over 2. And then we add the height of the web and the thickness of the lower flange. So that is plus 600 plus 50. We do the same with the other two elements. Plus 12 by 600 times 600 over 2 plus 50. And then the lower flange plus 250 times 50 times 50 over 2. So this is the moment of all the areas. By varying those theorem, the moment of each part is equal to the moment of the whole. So meaning, if we are going to consider the section as a whole, we, we get the sum of the areas of all the rectangles, 200 by 50 plus 12 by 600 plus 250 by 50. So this is the total area. And the distance of the centroid of the total area from the reference line is y sub b, as we have assumed before. 
So we just multiply all this by y sub b. And then we can solve for y sub b. So let us solve for y sub b. So y sub b equals 322.643097. Okay, so we know already the location of the centroid, so we can now compute the moment of inertia with respect to the centroid. And take note that we are solving for the centroidal moment of inertia with respect to x. So for the first rectangle, so we get the sum 1 by 1. The centroidal moment of inertia of this rectangle is, our formula is 1 over 12 bh cube or the width times the cube of the height so that is 200 times 50 cube and take note the centroid of this of this rectangle does not coincide with this centroidal x-axis so meaning we have to use the transfer formula so we will add plus area d squared so d is the distance between the centroids so meaning from this one up to this one. So we will, this is d sub 1. So plus area, d sub 1 squared. So if we're going to solve d sub 1, that is 50 over 2, 600 plus 50. So basically, this is d1, but we have to subtract y sub b. Okay, so d1 is 50 over 2 plus 600, and then at the end, we will subtract y sub b. And then we square this one. And then we do the same with the other two rectangles. So we have i sub x2 equals 1 over 12 b h cube. So take note, for i sub x2, this is for the web. So the width is 12 and the height is 600. So plus area. And then distance, so how far is the distance? 600 over 2 plus 50. And again, we have to subtract y b squared. And then we continue for i sub x3. That is 1 over 12, 250. So the width is 250 and the height is 50. So that is 250, 50 cubed plus area times Distance, so 50 over 2 minus y sub b squared. Okay, so we solve each moment of inertia and then we get the total. So we add ix1 plus ix2 plus ix3. So ix sub 1 is equal to this value. And then we store that to b. And then for ix2, let us solve. Take note that I've stored y sub b to a. This is now i sub x2. So let us store this to c. And then finally, for i sub x3, let us solve. So this is now i sub x3, and then we store that to d. We can now solve for the centroidal moment of inertia. So we just need to sum b, c, and d for the moment of inertia. And that is 2575. 0.22517. So this is now the moment, centroidal moment of inertia. And then we can now solve for the section modulus. So actually we have section modulus top and then we also have S bot. As you can see, the neutral axis or the centroidal axis is not in the middle of the section. So meaning Y sub B is not equal to y sub d, which is this one. For this section, we have s t and s sub b. i x over y sub t, and then s bot is i x over y sub b. So actually, we have two section modulus because the section is not symmetrical with respect to x axis. So if we're going to solve this, we have the moment of inertia I divided with 700 minus the computed y sub b. That is 6823838.389. And then for f bot, 
that is 2575 over y sub b. So this is 7981024.654. So now, if we're going to solve for the yield moment capacity, which section modulus are we going to use? So take note that we will use the lower section modulus. Multiply this S stop by Fy. Therefore, we have 1692311921. And then take note the unit of this one is Newton millimeter. Divide by 1000 squared. So the units will become kilonewton meter. So this is now our answer for problem one, and that is letter B. So if we have the same F top and F bot, so meaning we only have one section modulus. So that will happen if the section is symmetric with respect to X axis. By the way, we call this axis as the elastic neutral axis. The location of the geometric centroid is also the elastic neutral axis.